at Barnyard Buffet today in Sarah Land with my new friend Felicity. Thanks for having us. Hey Chelsea, nice to meet you. Yeah, so we've had Barnyard on the show before. So you see JJ back there too. We're going to speak to him in just a little bit. So this is a really top-notch buffet right here in North Mobile County if you want to join. Now you guys have a lot of things that you serve, but for right now we are focusing on your tuna salad. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Tell me about the ingredients, Felicity. Okay, we're on our tuna fish. We use the tuna fish and then we use the coarse ground black pepper and then we put a little bit of garlic powder and our onion powder and we use Coleman's dry mustard powder mm -hmm. and then we actually use dill pickle relish here in our tuna fish. Nice. Okay, so we're going to be mixing it all because you guys are serving a lot of people at one time. So we're going to be mixing it all together, right? All right, let's get started with okay. it. Okay. JJ went ahead and pre-strained my tuna fish for me. We just want to make sure that we get all of our moisture out of the tuna fish to make sure it's completely drained out. Why is that important, Felicity? Um, it makes it a little bit more runny whenever you leave the moisture in there and the juice on the tuna fish. And we kind of like ours dry here at Barnyard. All right, we'll make sure all of our clumps are out. Real quick, we're going to change our gloves out so we're not cross-contaminating. And JJ's back there cutting up an onion. I see he's got some hard-boiled eggs, too. Is that kind of the heart of what you guys have in the tuna fish, too? Yes, we like ours diced here, and we like to use the fresh. He's going ahead and doing that for me. All right, we're going to go ahead and add our ingredients in. We use a tablespoon of the coarse ground black pepper, a tablespoon of the garlic powder as well, and the onion powder. All right, and then the Coleman's dry mustard powder as well. Just a tablespoon of each. I'm impressed with how little of seasoning you have to use for this yes, big amount of Yes, the seasoning goes a long way. All right, and then we're going to add in our dill pickle relish. And while you're doing that, Felicity, go ahead and tell me about Barnyard Buffet. If someone wants to find this tuna salad, all they have to do is head to the salad bar. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And then we have our to-go's. They'll wait it up at the front at the cashier for you. All right, we've got the hard-boiled eggs and the onions, too. So the beautiful thing about tuna salad, once you add the mayo, it's just a, a mixing game, right? Yes. And we have a large quantity here, so it's a big mixing game. Right, so you're going to have some massive biceps by yes. the time you get done with this tuna salad, which is, looks really, really nice, especially if you like it. For folks who are watching, while you're continuing doing this and mixing this, tell us about some other staples that you have here as well. Our weekly specials that we have, we have daily specials. Now, during every day of the week, we have our homemade meatloaf that we do in-house. I'm actually the one that makes that as well. Um, <laughs> on Friday and Saturday nights, we do our seafood, which is the crabs, and we actually have steaks now. The steaks, and we have whole catfish every night of the week, all day on Saturday, and we're now doing it on Sunday after 4 o'clock. They love that whole catfish. Well, that is good to know. You also, um, we want to tell folks how they can come see you for lunch or dinner, and even on Saturdays, you serve breakfast, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, we're open 11 to 7, Monday through Friday. Monday through Thursday, I'm sorry. And then we're going to stay open 30 minutes later on Friday and Saturday until 7.30. And on Saturday, we open up at 8 for our breakfast buffet. It lasts until 10.30 in the morning. We got um, items like the chicken and waffles. We got the biscuits and gravy. And we, we actually cook eggs to order on our breakfast buffet. Wow, really nice. And it looks like the tuna salad is all almost done and so she's washing her hands a very important step when we come back we've got this done this will officially go on the salad bar we're making one of my favorites next I'm so excited to see this recipe we're making ranch right yeah okay I've never had that I've ne well I've never made it I've had plenty of it let me tell you but I'm excited to have theirs that's next on studio 10 so stick around we're back in the Barnyard Buffet kitchen with Felicity and JJ. So if you missed it, we made tuna salad in the first one. It was absolutely beautiful. So if you want to try it, you know where to go. Barnyard Buffet in Sierra Lane. But now we are focusing on homemade ranch. I've never made a homemade ranch before. <laughs> I'm really excited, obviously. It's good, Chelsea. Okay, so we have basics. And again, this is a buffet, so they are making massive quantities of it. This isn't just one person who's ordering an excessive amount of ranch. But you start Start out with the basics and that's mayonnaise, right? Right. So we start off with our heavy um, duty mayonnaise, which is two gallons, and then we add in 
two gallons of the whole buttermilk, which is the secret to the best ranch you're gonna have. Is mm. you want all the fat inside of it. Yeah. We're gonna add these in. So you say this is a little more difficult to make because you you guys literally have to make sure there are no clumps in it. And so you're sitting here stirring and whisking for quite some time. Yes, and make sure it's completely smooth and silky. Yeah, really important too. So that's what we're highlighting today is your guys' salad bar. You'll find the tuna salad there. Of course, you're going to find this homemade ranch there as well. You see JJ in the back cutting up all the goodies that go on the salad bar, some of those essential veggies and all the good stuff there. So we're going to do that. And you guys like to use Hidden Valley Ranch Packets, yes. right? Hidden Valley Ranch Seasoning is going to be the best that we have. And you use about four of these? Yes, we use four packets of the Hidden Valley Ranch. Uh -huh. We're going to go ahead and add that in here. And then we're going to go ahead and start whisking this bad boy. All right. Well, that takes some time. And while you're whisking, Felicity, go ahead and tell me about your hours here at Barnyard Buffet. You're open seven days a week. Yes, ma'am. Um, for the lunch, we're open from 11 to 7, Monday through Thursday. And on Friday and Saturdays, we're open to 11 to 7.30, 30 minutes extra on the weekends. And then on Saturday, we actually have our game day, it's like party favors. We do our barbecue ribs, and we have three different types of wings that we're doing now, which one's boneless in case you like off the bone. They have, we try to switch up the flavors, make sure we're trying out all the new ones. So delicious wings if you want to try that. Also, you guys serve steak too? We do. We do the steak on Friday nights after 4 p.m. Um, we try to run them through the weekend if we have extras, but we have a new sous chef and they're eating our steaks up on Friday nights, clearing the house out. Oh, well, you better get her early, it sounds like. Um, something else really nice and convenient for someone who's really busy or maybe just wants to stay home and eat dinner. Or they can come and pick up their meal. All they do have to do is pay by the pound. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Um, for lunchtime, it's $9.99 a pound. And then for dinner time, it's going to be $11.99 a pound. They just come in and tell the cashier they want to get it to go. And then they'll help themselves. They'll fix their plates and bring it back up there. And then we'll weigh it up for them. Sure. For folks who haven't visited you guys before but are thinking about it, how does it work here? Do you pay before you get here? You pay after you're done eating and when you leave? Um, yes. If you're dining in, you're going to stop at the cashier stand at the front and you're going to pay first and then you're going to go and help yourself to the bars or you can sit down first and get your drinks with our ladies but you can eat as much as you can we don't have any wheelbarrows in the back or any wheelchairs so don't hurt yourself all right well that's the beautiful thing about a buffet is you can eat as much as possible and as jj has told us in the past on studio 10 when he's been on the show is that it's good home cooking so if you want something delicious and it'll make your soul feel good this is the place to be it looks like our ranch is almost done we're going to preview the finished product at the actual salad bar with JJ we're going to show you what it's like next on studio 10 for folks who want to come see you you're located in Sarah Land. yes ma'am we're at 1020 highway 43 south right next to the Goodwill all right Felicity well thanks so much for joining us thanks, on studio Chelsea. 10 JJ and I will be back showing you the salad bar next all right, we're actually showing you the salad bar today, which is really exciting. And you guys are packed out for lunch right now, which yeah. is always really fun, JJ. Thanks for finally coming by. Yeah. It's nice to have you. It's been really nice being here talking with you guys. So again, we are back with JJ and we've been talking about the tuna salad. We also have ranch dressing, but now we're talking about where they live, their home, and that is the salad bar here That's at Barnard right. Buffet. We've got the whole pretty rainbow effect here with all the colors. Um, I just wanted to show what we've got here. We've got a lot of fresh local veggies. We've got Caesar salad if you prefer that, a whole dairy section, cheese and eggs. We've got a lot of really high quality meats like bacon and ham and turkey. A lot of homemade salad dressings like our buttermilk ranch we just showed you. Uh, cottage cheese and fruit is real popular with some of the retirees. And then we've got coleslaw, potato salad, and tartar and cocktail on the end for our fried fish. Delicious, and yes, folks are just tearing it up back here, so I promise <laughs> you will love it, too. You guys are always really busy, so let's tell folks at home how they can come here, try the salad bar, but also try your other foods as well. Absolutely. We're here seven days a week. We do lunch and dinner all seven days. We also have a breakfast buffet we're doing on Saturday now from 8 to 1030. Um, if you don't want to do a dine-in buffet, you can always do a carry-out plate, so you make your plate, take it home skip the dishes a lot of the stress yep. um, just do it by the pound that way and then 
Uh, we've got a lot of new specials we're trying out that you can check out on our website, um, barnyardbuffetsaraland.com. So like Friday night, we're doing steak, seafood, and gumbo. All day Saturday, we have game day specials like chicken wings, ribs, fried shrimp, uh, fried whole catfish. And then Sunday, of course, after church, we've got the whole Southern, you know, the traditional Southern Sunday dinner, Thanksgiving, <laughs> ham, turkey, dressing, all that. All so. right. Well, lucky for you, again, they're open seven days a week. So if you're thinking that sounds so good or it looks good, <laughs> you can stop what you're doing after Studio 10 and Fox 10 midday and come here for lunch. You're located in the heart of Sarahland off of Highway 43. If you want to visit them, make sure you say hey to JJ and his crew. They're always so sweet and so kind. JJ, thanks for having us. We love having you. Thank you for coming.